All right, welcome back to our third Olympiad mass problem. Now, let us solve this question. They say that if x squared minus y squared is 24, then an x and xy is 35, we should find it. Let me write it out somewhere here. They gave me that x squared minus y squared is 24, and then that xy is 35 because of the space of my board. So let us now solve. So solving this, I'm going to have that, that x squared minus y squared is equal to 24. Let me start from this equation. Now, do you remember that this thing is difference of two squared? So this thing means x minus y and x plus y, all right, uh, is equal to what? 24. Now, let me square both sides. If I square both sides, I'm going to have x minus y and x plus y, okay, all squared is equal to what? 24 squared. Now, if I clear this thing, this one means x minus y all squared and x plus y all squared is equal to what? 24 squared. Now, if I clear here, I'm going to have that this one is x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, okay? Why this one will give me x squared plus 2xy, uh, then plus y squared is equal to what? 24 squared. Now, this thing is definitely saying uh, x squared plus y squared minus 2xy, okay? And then x squared plus y squared plus 2xy, okay? Is equal to what? 24. Now, they, we already know what is our xy. Our xy is 35, so let us put it here. I'm going to have that this is x squared plus y squared minus 2 into 35 to give me 70, all right? Into x squared plus y squared my plus 2 times 35 is what? 70 again, all right? Is equal to what? 24. Now, I want to put this in a bigger bracket to show you something. Let me leave these people inside the bracket. Now, if you look at this thing carefully, you'll see that this thing is difference of two squares. This one minus this one, and the same thing again plus this. So, like we have here, this one minus this one times the same thing again plus this. So, it means this. So, this thing means these people here now, which is x squared plus y squared, all squared, minus 70 squared. That's the meaning of everything here, okay? This difference of two things that are squared means this one minus this one multiplied by the same thing plus this, okay? So it's equal to 24 squared. Sorry, don't forget the square that is in 24. 24 squared. So this one coming here, I'm going to have x squared plus y squared is equal to what? 24 squared plus 70 squared. So therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to, sorry, all squared. There is squared here, all squared. All squared is equal to, uh, do the magic there. I'm going to have 24 squared, 24 squared, okay? 24 squared plus 70 squared. I'm going to have 5, 4, 7, 6. 5, 4, 7, 6, okay? So now, if this square can go here to become square root, I'm going to have that x squared plus y squared is now the square root plus or minus 5, 4, 7, 6. So therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to square root of that. My answer will give me 74. 74 plus or minus. Now, what I'm looking for is x plus y. They say I should find x plus y. Let me check what x plus y will give me. x plus y if I decide to square it, it means square the first one, x squared, multiply the first one and second one, double it, I'm going to have 2xy, then square the last one plus y squared. If I arrange this very well, I'm going to have that this is x squared plus y squared, then plus 2xy, okay? Do you know that these people gave me plus or minus 74? So I'm going to have that this is equal to, don't forget, x plus y all squared will now be equal to what? Uh, plus or minus 74, then plus what? 2 into 35, because these people are 35. So this is going to be plus or minus 74 plus 70. So now, permit me to finish it up here now. So my last answer will now be that x plus y, okay? Uh, x plus y all squared is equal to, let me take the first one. That is 74 plus 70. So therefore, 
x plus y all squared is equal to 144. So x plus y will now be the square root of 144 plus or minus, okay? Which is what? Plus or minus 12. That's the first one. Now the second one, or you will not take minus now, or you say that x plus y all squared is equal to minus 74 plus 70. So what do you have? x plus y all squared will now be minus 4. So x plus y itself will now be the square root of minus 4 plus or minus. So therefore, x plus y will now be plus or minus 2. So finally, the answer to that is what? My x plus y is equal to 12, comma, minus 12, comma, 4, uh, sorry, 2i, sorry, 2i, because square root of a negative number is i. So 2i and then minus 2i. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.